Welcome to the Certificates Workflow Lesson in EZU. In this lesson, we will take you through the process of creating and distributing a new master certificate for a commercial auto policy. From the account overview of any applicant, click on the Certificates tab. Here you can manage your existing master certificates for this applicant, as well as create a new one. You can use the Search Masters bar at the top of the screen to search through existing master certificates for this applicant. This is a super search bar, which means you can search using almost any criteria, such as a specific certificate holder, name, holder address, and more. On the left side of the page, certificates are sorted into five dropdowns, current, for active policies, expiring, for active policies that expire in the next 30 days, expired, for inactive policies, pending, for policies that are not yet active but will be, and unknown. To add a new certificate master, click Add Certificate Master. From here, you can move through each of the five steps in order to build and distribute a master certificate. First, choose the accord form. Keep in mind that the type of accord form you choose will serve as the filter for the policies you can select. For demonstration, we will choose an accord 25 for the business auto. Notice that once you select the accord form, the system populates any valid policies. If there is more than one valid policy, you can select multiple here as well. You can also select the version of the policy that you would like to include in the certificate. In most cases, you will stick with the most recent policy change version. The system will pre-populate a useful certificate name, but you may rename it. When ready, select the desired policy and click Save and Continue. On this page, you can enter master-level remarks for the certificate. These remarks will apply to all holders on the certificate. You can also specify preset master remarks and create these sets in the certificate settings in the settings menu to the left. Click over to the remarks tab. Here you can add a new remark preset by clicking add remark. Give it a title and then type whatever you would like in the remarks box. Then save the remark. Back to the master remarks step, you can use the search existing remarks box to choose existing remarks. Any remarks past the character limit will flow onto an Accord 101 automatically. Note that you can also choose to attach the vehicle schedule if available, blanket additional insured, and blanket waiver of subrogation. Then click Save and Continue. Next is the Add Master Document step. In this step, you can add documents to be attached to the certificate. These are documents that are relevant to every certificate holder. You can choose a document from the applicant's document library, an agency form, or upload a form of your choosing. After master documents are added, click Save and continue to move to the next step. Next, specify certificate holders. To streamline this process, the system prefills all additional interests from the selected policy by default. You can search through the list of holders for this certificate by using the search bar. Edit any existing holders by clicking the vertical ellipsis, then edit certificate holder on the line item. You can also import holders from other certificates on the account by clicking import. You have the option to import from CSV or from another cert master. If you select CSV, you can download our template by clicking approved CSV template then once filled out you can upload it here. If you select from cert master, you can select the master certificate on the left and then select the holder on the right. Once selected click Import. If you need to add a new holder here, click on Add Holder. On this page, you can fill in the contact info of the holder and their preferred distribution method. This selection decides how the holder will receive the certificate. The Certificate Details tab is where you can designate options for a holder that are specific to the certificate. These options may change depending on the type of certificate. On the Holder Remarks tab, you can enter any holder-specific remarks. These will appear alongside the master remarks, but unlike the master remarks, these will only appear on the specified holder's certificate. Similarly, any remarks past the character limit will flow to the Accord 101. On the Documents tab, select or upload any documents to attach to this holder. Once the certificates are generated and sent during the distribution step, these additional documents will be attached to the distribution for the holder automatically. Once finished, click Save and the new holder will be added to the list. When viewing certificate holders associated with a certificate, you will see there is a column containing the holder remarks for the holders. 
This will be visible in the Master Certificate tab, as well as within the Edit Master workflow. For subjects of insurance to be displayed, a location and building must be selected for the certificate holder. The ability to indicate the location and building is within the certificate details for certificate holders. Once the location and building are chosen, the appropriate subjects of insurance will flow in as they are listed on the policy entry screens. If you change the location and building, they will update accordingly. From here, you can update the coverages as needed. Please note, when saved, this information does not update the policy. Once the desired information is updated you can then distribute the master certificate, and the coverages will be listed as they are within the holder's certificate details. When finished adding and editing all certificate holders, click Save and continue to move on. On the Review PDF step, review the certificate master template without the specific holder details. This represents the base information that will be given to all holders. Any purple fields can be edited. Once done making edits, you can move to the final step by clicking Save and Continue. In the Distribute Certificates step, you will distribute the certificates based on the holder's preferred method. Looking at the table, you can see the fields last sent, preferred distribution method, and destination. Last sent will tell me when this holder last received this certificate. Preferred distribution method describes the method this holder would like to receive the certificate, either download or email. Destination is where the certificate is being sent, if email is the distribution method then the holder's email will be displayed here. When ready to distribute the certificates, select the holders you would like to send to, and then click distribute. For the holders that have email as their preferred distribution method, you will be able to compose this email now. When ready click send. You will then be taken back to the main certificates page where the system will show that it is generating the certificates. This may take some time depending on how many holders are present. Feel free to move around the system and perform other tasks while waiting. The system will notify you once the certificates have been generated and or sent. Once they have finished generating the system will show how many were emailed and ready to download. If you move over to the Documents tab, you will see the new master cert generated, along with the individual certificates after clicking on the master cert. Moving back to the Certificate tab, notice the Actions button. Click Actions and you will have a few options. The first option is Copy, click Copy Master, then Yes, to create a copy of the master certificate. Notice it will have, Copy of, in the name so you can identify the newly copied certificate. The copy will retain any master remarks, coverages, master documents, and certificate holders that were on the original certificate master. This is a good method if you just need to change small details, like master remarks then redistribute. Next under Actions is Client Center. Click Client Center to enable Client Center certificate self-generation. Please read the disclosure before proceeding. To learn more watch, Client Center for Agents and Client Center Setup and Settings. Next is Delete. This option is only available for certificates that have not been distributed. If the certificate has been distributed this option will be grayed out as you see here. Click Distribution Report to see where and when the certificate is distributed. Notice you will have the option to view past distributions and access past zip files under the Certificate Transaction History drop-down. Edit Master will allow you to make some edits to the master certificate, like the certificate name by taking you back to step 1 of the certificate process. Click Export Holders to download Certificate Master Holders as a CSV file to your computer. Lastly is Preview Master, and this will take you to step 5 to review the PDF of the Certificate Master workflow. That is all for this course on creating master certificates. You should now have the knowledge and skills to move through the master certificate creation and distribution process. Thanks for watching.